What is up guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 14th Intermediate Java Tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be going over a data structure called a stack. Now what a stack is, is it pretty much can be closely related to a stack of dishes. Now you know whenever you're doing dishes and you put a new dish on the pile of uh, old dishes, it's always placed on the top of the pile or the stack. And in Java terms we refer to this as pushing a dish on the stack. So what pushing means is putting something on top of the stack. And whenever you take a dish off of the stack, what Java calls this is popping a dish off the stack. So you always have pretty much a stack of methods or um, co collection calls or anything you have. And whenever you put something on it, it's called pushing. And whenever you take something off it, it's called popping. So the easiest way to uh, pretty much to learn this is through a demonstration. So that's what I'm going to do. In order to create a stack, just go ahead and we import this in Java Util, but just go ahead and press stack and then go ahead and we're going to make our data a string because it's the easiest and you can name it anything you want. I'm going to name mine stack, how uh, creative, and then go ahead and put new stack and then go ahead and put string in here. Now go ahead and put your empty parameters because uh, it doesn't take uh, any parameters in this constructor and then go ahead and the first thing we need to do, we have an empty stack right now, so we need to push something or put something on a stack. So go ahead and put stack, and then we can call methods right from here. So let's go ahead and put push, and as our first item we want to add is a string. I'll just name mine bottom. Uh, you can name anything you want. So now after this, let's just go ahead and print out the stack after everything we push or pop from it. And this can uh, allow you to see what's going on. So go ahead and put print stack and this is a method that we're going to be building later and for the parameter it's going to take what collection of course our stack so let's go ahead and we'll push three items on this and print it out each time so just copy this two more times and we'll paste it we'll name the first one bottom the second one second and the third one third so this is going to be really easy to see what's going on so now we have a stack with three items on it or three dishes the first one's named bottom and that's on the bottom the second one's named second and the third one's named third so now whenever we pop elements we don't need to pass it anything we pretty much don't need to tell it which one it needs to take off because it automatically always takes the top one off so instead of passing it in an element we just name pop and it automatically pops off the first element off the top so go ahead and put stack dot pop and we're going to go ahead and call this three times because we have three methods, or excuse me, three items in our stack right now. So go ahead and call pop, then go ahead and print stack. Just copy that and paste it. And let's go ahead and do this three times. And what this will do is what we did here is populate the stack with three items. And then by popping it three times, we removed all three. So now outside your main method, we're going to want to go ahead and build a new method called print stack. So let's go ahead and put, we'll make it private because we're only using it in this class. Private static void not return anything. Print stack. And as your parameter, of course, you have to pass it in a stack that is string data. And we'll just name it S for uh, simplicity. And let's go ahead and write a simple if statement. That's the only thing we need to put in here. First, we need to check if the stack is empty. So if s dot and is empty is built in method that returns either true or false. It, of course, returns true if it's empty. And if it's not, it returns false. So that's why we are able to use that. So first of all, check if the stack is empty. If it is, system out print line. And we'll just write like you have nothing in your stack and now we can go else so this else code is gonna run as long as there's anything in our stack so let's go ahead and put system out print format would probably be the best print for this and for the format go ahead and put percent s and this is gonna be the stack and just go ahead and put top in the new line so whenever we see top we know that this is the top of the stack and for your arguments just pass it s so you can actually pass an entire stack as a single string variable so that's a cool thing in this so let's go ahead and run this and see what it looks like as you can see 
the first thing we did is we populated it and printed it out after three times so we populated it with bottom bottom second and here's the top of the stack bottom second third here's the top and then we popped it three times we popped third off we popped second off and then whenever we pop bottom off our stack was empty so that's why we got the code you have nothing in your stack so that's pretty much how they use the uh, push and pop and what a stack is and this is one data structure it's not the most common but we'll be going over some more in the tutorials to come so thank you guys for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'm out of time for this tutorial but I will see you next time